This is Will McCauley with Sea Intellect. I'm reviewing this week's natural gas and power proprietary research and analysis piece. This week's topic is as electrification goes on, looking at a residential heat pump versus a natural gas furnace. There's been a lot of talk, which I'm sure everyone's heard about continued electrification in the United States, whether it's in commercial buildings, the transportation sector, or in the residential sector. Um, McKinsey recently came out with a report calling for the end of the golden age uh, for the local distribution companies for natural gas um, on continued electrification in the residential sector. We take a slightly different viewpoint. Um, we believe there will be continued need for natural gas delivery into the residential sector uh, in the near and, and medium term. To come up with our view, we looked at the relative costs of these two types of net technologies. Again, an electric heat pump versus a natural gas furnace. Specifically, we looked at the variable operating cost, which is just your fuel associated with running these two types of systems. We did not look at any capex differentials, um, any upgrade, line upgrades either in your neighborhood or to your house to feed these systems because those are roughly comparable across the technologies and, and across the United States. So again, looking only at fuel costs uh, between these two types of technologies. We took a look at five most populous states in the United States and then looked at the United States as a whole. Um, generally, the results were not that surprising for most states. However, there are a couple that, that stand out, which I'll, I'll detail in, in, in more in just a little bit. The first thing I want to look at here is what the total delivered natural gas price that includes your fuel and any kind of delivery charges to your home versus the all-in delivered power price. Again, the power uh, load marginal price plus any kind of line charges associated with delivery. So this is all in fully loaded delivered price to residential sectors across the United States. In the United States, the average price of gas delivered is $13 an MCF. And coincidentally, the average power price is 13 cents a kilowatt hour in the United States. Now, when you go state by state, you get varying different results. Um, of the five largest states that we looked at, Illinois and California actually came in with the cheapest delivered gas prices around $11 or $12 um, per MCF delivered below the national average. Texas, surprisingly, and New York came in a little above the average at $15 and $16. And then Florida was the highest of the states that we looked at around $22. Um, which makes sense to us because they're located physically far from any natural gas producing regions. On the power side, I don't think the results were as surprising. Texas and Florida had some of the lowest power prices around 11 and 12 cents a kilowatt hour, um, whereas New York and California came in at 18 and 19 cents. Illinois is right on average at, at 13 cents. So really looking at the relationship between those prices tells you which of these technologies makes the most sense. So here we have a graphic showing those differentials. As you can see, Florida is sitting up very high in the top because it has uh, high delivered gas costs, but relatively average power prices. California or New York sitting down in the bottom right corner, um, again, driven by high power prices, but relatively benign gas prices. The line that you see here is the slope of the relationship between these two, and that slope is about 1.35. Uh, so generally, in most of the United States, United States on average, a natural gas furnace is actually cheaper to run. It is also cheaper to run in Illinois, New York, and California. In Texas, it's the other way, and Florida for that matter, it's the other way around where an electric heat pump is more efficient to run, economic to run. In Texas, the reason for these high gas prices are driven by higher than average LDC costs. So you're all in delivered price of gas, despite the fact we have plentiful uh, production, cheap production, the local distribution charges raise our delivery prices above average. Florida, the situation we've talked about previously. And I think everyone is, is relatively familiar with why New York and California uh, would have higher electrical prices than, than the national average. Um, so really our conclusion here is, depending on which state you're in, what your fuel delivered costs are, it's not as easy to say one is definitely winning in all cases and the other one is definitely losing. There are instances where one makes sense and the other makes sense. So we believe natural gas will continue to be delivered in the residential sector for two main reasons, which you can see here. The first is, again, high LDC cost, which is what we have in Texas. We don't see that abating in the near term. So you will continue to have high gas costs in Texas delivered. Therefore, uh, electric 
heat furnaces will, will make sense. And then your distance from production adds significant transportation costs, which again, increases your full cost here. So places like Florida will continue to make sense to run electric rather than natural gas. For full research report and much more, please visit our fundamentals report at our website, cintellect.com.